All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, I think, the final phase, uh, step number four, sharing the table with the service account. So here's my understanding of it. Once again, this is all trial and error. Um, we're learning as we go, and that, to me, is the most important, valuable part of this lesson. So I, I have created my, my table. All right, date, name, location, the person's going to vote. Um, I have gone to um, my, I don't see my account up here anywhere, but we have created the API, and with the API, I generated this um, author authorization the private key ID, the private key, the project ID, crowdsource app. Okay, this is what you created when you guys did step A. Who understands step A now? Okay, so the papers that I gave you, step A, setting up the Google Fusion table at the API. You're coming up with the client email, the client ID, and the authorization URL, which you guys need to get this printed off. And by the way, if you can't view it, just go ahead and download it. Uh, just say what app you recommend. It'll say some text editor. Choose the text editor. Download this. Okay. And then I just opened all this and now I can see it here. Are you with me? So then what I did is when, when you go into here, all right, it's going to ask you to share this. And you, you now have to share this with like a third party. Well, guess what? That third party is you but that you now is you on the API service. So you now want to share this with the API service. So this is where you go down into here and get your email and it generates an email for you, fusion tables at crowdsource, okay? Yada, 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 all right? And then, okay, so we're gonna create this here. Take this email, go back here to this share button and go down here and invite people okay paste that in there and then it's going to hit send and then it sends them an email and now you can connect now we can connect our table the actual physical table store the values of it on the api which is what we just authorized and created okay now we can go back to our app are you guys with me here go back to the app store the values in the the Google API table, which then stores those tables to the third party um, client URL. Okay. Does that make sense now? So, really, I always thought there was two things last week. Can you guys look up here for a second? Last week, I understood this as two things going on. Are you with me? I understood it as our app storing data on the API. Are you with me? Guess what? Was that correct? No. no. What's the right thinking now? <laughs> How many things are involved? Three. <laughs> you have the app storing values into the, the Fusion table, which is a physical, right, which is a physical Google document. And now we take that table and store the table values into the API. So now I'm understanding it as three things connecting here in a circle. App to fusion tables, fusion tables, store the values to the API. Last week, I thought there was two. This week, I'm learning there's three. Are you with me? And guess what? If my thinking's not right, maybe there's more to this. We're going to figure it out tomorrow. Are you with me? But I am having success getting this done right now. Everything's kosher. So hopefully this video helps. Keep calm, code on, and uh, we'll uh, hope this video helps.